allow the garrison guards to go back to their hometown castle to refill their tr lost troops and if and to heal if they are wounded. For initial to catch party set up their four make Therefore, make sure they have units produced by the improved garrison of the guard to pick up later. Now the problem with this is that they more or less leave the castles and cities empty. You can also create it manually. That's yeah, really, uh, it's real, really f perfect for anyone who wants to be in battles constantly. I only just leave them at like tier three, because, um, well, they're gonna cost less. But you know, look at that. The daily wage is well halved because of the steward, I assume. The only problem is it means your castles and cities are not gonna make money if you have a lot of troops in them. That's the only like issue with it. Otherwise, it's great. In the wage. through these we're not making any money at this point Party wages 3000, party wages for Garrison of Tonic Castle, Sinopa. Oh, yeah, and money is no issue here. You, you don't even need to mess with blacksmithing. I mean, you saw what I did. You just fight a couple of battles, grab all the gear off the enemy, and just sell it for like. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60k, and so on, you know? So money is no issue, for me at least, in Bandlord. Well, at the beginning, it's kind of a problem, but as soon as you start getting into battles versus enemy lords, vassals, or, you know, proper vassals, not just bandits and all that, you just make a shitload of money that way. That's, you know... It's real easy at that point. Alright, I got a workshop. Payment to mercenaries, pay to wages, gases. Yeah. We're not making a lot. But then again, I'm a, I was never looking to make money with the cities. These big armies of looters, man. Well, the villages only have elites now in them. That's fun. Oh yeah, I guess the pilum was gonna be the easiest one to craft. You just need the tip and the shaft, right? Nothing else? Yeah, the tip and the shaft. Good thing... Good thing... Uh, Sultan isn't here to clip that.
So what, what this is um, what I do the most of the time. Just you know have the have the brain fart. The family members be stewards. Maybe I should make those gears and let's see. Uh, this garrison guards automatically create a guard to party to defend villages automatically create a guard party to roam the region okay let's do both of those now does it say anywhere like how big is medium XY village, I should attack XY, I should go back to the settlement and my units. Each guard can also be given orders. The most common usage is to defend defense of your region. To tell the guard to patrol it, it will walk around the region, clear looters and bandits and defend against sieges and raids. You all may also tell the guards to escort parties. The guards will then follow the party and defend it. This can be useful if you need help. It's your next attack or you want one of your caravans to be protected. McCree going like that. Guards when attacked, disable the recruitment of captured prisoners and more. Yes, you can mess with this if you want. Guards, he left guards, prisoners, cell threshold, guards, the plan shall over troops, guards, and placement. Disable them, dis deactivate, disable error messages, delete all important garrison parties. Yes, so. Let them recruit when they are at 200. If I can get it, no, never mind, 201. Let's see. Let's test it out with the party auto creation uh, party size of small and see how big they get. Copy to all towns, copy to all villages and, or castles and towns. Okay, that's set up correctly. Okay, let's see how how it works out now. Ashadi alone. Right, I should be checking for companions companions with stewardship. Garrison recruiter, guess and guards. Because I saw a garrison guard party or a patrol with with what was it? Uh, 200 troops, and that's way too much. Party wages are 5% 5 5 less. Recruitment costs as you do. Party sums. Uh, that's not gonna help him, I think. With one of those. Actually, let's. Here's some guard, let's put it actually to medium.
Okay, it's probably gonna. They're probably gonna have just 35 troops until they die somewhere. Well, let's leave it like that. Wives. Yeah, this is already this already has 151 in garrison, that's good. Distinguished service. I kill five or more in battle. I can make him a companion and choose perks. That's really good. Uh, there was a mod. Or Warband, which actually had a similar system. Well, somewhat similar system. Basically, it was one of, one of the Roman mods where you had like four different types, four different Roman factions, like Northern, Southern, Western, and Eastern. And in there, you didn't have companions at all. You only had high tier troops. Like, I don't know, Centurion or Optios or something like that. Who, who, if they survive for long, you can actually make into companions. So, I guess it, it's kind of like that. It was a real pain in the ass in that mod too, since you couldn't really get those companions that easily. Let me write that down. We can check that out for the for the next playthrough or the updated version of this mod. Uh, possibly another faction comes out or something. Uh, Distinguished service. And you do need to also check, like, I'll, I'll try to check the mods for this game again. Like, all of them. See what's new, see what's, you know, updated and all that. There's probably a bunch of them I missed. Only problem is, like, I go, like, sorting by, you know, most liked, most downloaded, most upvoted, or whatever the thing is on Nexus mods. And there's, those are basically always the same. And there we go. War is upon us, man. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, this, oh, this is gonna be... How can I wait on knowing? So let's see. What are they gonna be like now? Once they come out of the cities? Okay, six, forty, sixty-two. Okay, that's good. Oh god, now I have to defend all this single-handedly single -handedly again. Well, you ain't happy to see me. Uh, let's auto resolve this. I'm gonna win it anyway, right? Okay, let me win a couple of these battles and let's see how much money I make out of selling the, all, the, all that stuff.
and it's not mine anymore. So I don't care. Garrison recruiter was wrecked. Not the village. Grab him. Yeah, damn, I hate these mercenary factions. There's so many of them. Why do they always go for that? It's amazing. I mean, oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's not mine. Take that. God, no one's near. Or... Okay, never mind. There's an army coming. The king is coming to help. Nice. Who is who? Who attacked that? He's going to a point? <laughs> it's so descriptive, right? Okay, Arena, sell them off. Okay, we had two, mo two smaller battles, Let's see how much money we're gonna make out of them. Yeah, look at that. 14k by just, you know, auto resolving two battles. Easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy, man. Okay, let me check the composition of the army. Okay, a bit too many archers, I say. Let's see if we can help our king break the siege or something. Or if his army disbands. Why are you running away? Why are you running away? I see why. He doesn't have enough. Come on, game. Can I mouse running from... He's running from the party over there. Oh, God damn it. Okay, maybe he'll get the balls if I join. Yeah, we're gonna have a big enough army for this. Well, they're probably gonna run away. Maybe? Yup. But too late to run away. Yeah. What's up, I gag on trouble on trouble again? Yeah. This might be better if I auto resolve the battle. Probably will be better if I auto resolve the battle. shitload of cav hmm what 
am I gonna lead? Let's lead the ushers. For sure you can send send the mod list. If we got gilded it would be better, so it's not in you know, in YouTube chat. See what's the plan what's the plan? My man. Democles skirmish. Yeah. Well, how about you wait up a little bit? No, that's a cab force, man. See, this is the problem. Like, our AI is gonna get up so close that they can kiss their ass. And the enemy... Reinforcements are just gonna spawn there and wreck us. Did I kill someone? Not really. are so choppy well you're far away from well that's probably because my graphic settings are still low this is just gonna charge in seems like it It might just work. Who knows? We do all number them by a bit. Oh god, he's he has my companions in the in the cab force. Probably gonna die. Just getting way alone at this point. Jesus Christ. There, finally. Oh, this is what I mean. They just they spawn right there. They maybe get the archers on the hill they have so they have a clearer shot. Skirmishing, you bastard. Well, someone. You already got 17 of my men killed. Nice job. Look at that, the full-on assault actually worked for once. Charge in with your archer force. Beat them with your sticks. 
or bows. Okay, he only killed, got 18 of my guys killed. Not too shabby. I like how I get first dibs on the prisoners too. <laughs> Look at that, 64k experience. Jesus Christ. Okay, how about you? Go over there and knock out I can't pronounce that, so I'm not gonna try. Because I want it for myself. Okay, let's see. Small increase to clan. Life expectancy. No, imp not implemented, of course. Why would it be? Reach. Rate by 5% for each point. Increase animal production and govern the villages by 10%. Yeah, it's, it's funny, like, sometimes you fight, uh, auto-calculate battles against enemy, you know, lords and vassals that have a lot smaller army than you, and no one dies. You auto-calculate a battle versus sea raiders, 10 troops, 10 of your troops die, like, like really? Come on. Ah. Uh. God damn it. Well, thank God my stuff is far away from the Asari. Azari. Why do I call him Asari? Same mass effect. Okay, let's get a piece with them. So we're not spread too thin. Yeah, hopefully we are gonna go through with this siege so we don't like get stalled by an army. Look at that, 69. Ready to get upgraded. Uh, send no more archers, but I gotta get upgraded. Those upgraded that already started. And the AI is the biggest problem with the AI is when they fight battles and they like can't make up their mind so they either you know they constantly switch around like they, I'm gonna charge in I'm gonna stay back I'm gonna charge in and I'm gonna stay uh, go back and uh, regroup I'm gonna charge you know back and forth and because of that back and forth most of the time they lose a shitload of troops because they turn in their backs to the enemy and try to when like when they do try to regroup with their other of their uh, you know the rest of their army they usually, you know, leave their backs open, which is even worse. They don't use a shield wall. Well, they do, kind of. I mean, from what I've seen, they all, the enemy always advances in shield wall to shield wall towards you. And they are always in the shield wall when they're defending. For the most part. From what I've seen. Okay, I gotta get them to start using the... Ladders. Looks like there's less of them on the left. Then again, that is the problem. Like, um, the AI on... Tailworld's game was never fantastic. I think these like big castles, well it's something even for multiplayer because you can't really play on these maps on multiplayer, can you? Ok, 
Okay, that was too far up. It's not enough. I do like how the pilum bounces off the walls. And there's an extra pilum over here we can use. Maybe I should have stayed on the horse so we can actually have a better shot at him. Shot. Oh yeah, the, the, uh, I don't know what's damage on it, but it's almost it's more than the actual lances and spears you can get, I think. It's definitely a good stabbing weapon. The only problem is once you go up against lancers, they outrange you. Okay, this is gonna be a long day. <laughs> Good thing the ladders don't have HP, right? I'm gonna check the damage on the Pilum right after the battle. I think it's more than the spear you had. It's real good at the beginning, especially if you get the... I think you always start with the Pilum as the Empire. If you choose the Empire, right? Only 40 dead, 43. That's good. There's only one guy left. Okay, there we go. Thirty five thousand. Yeah, sure, let's give it to the troops.
Okay, so hopefully the idea is for me to get this. Well, we're not gonna get it, but we're gonna try. Okay, let's save just in case. Let's upgrade the troops. Okay, let's see what happens. Traveling to Sinopa. Yes! Nice. Okay, just uh, copy. Copy to all castles. Yeah, this 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 is the problem. Like, Gerson is literally gone at this point at Sinopa. Look at that, guard information has 187 troops. No. Okay, let's, let's turn that off. Hopefully they return with those troops back there. Right, peel them. We'll okay, see. Plus damage 40. One hand. 80, uh, 58. Yeah, so Pilm does so much freaking damage if you throw it. If you use it as a weapon single hand. Single hand. Look at that. The guards are actually fighting them. Yo, 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 they're gonna win, so I'm gonna leave the, leave the party. Oh, yes. I'm to Papa. Oh, we could get more food, though. Grab some beer as well. I don't wonder I'm losing so much food. I'm giving it to the army, right? Oh, I don't think we're gonna have enough. No, we might have enough get there and besiege it. I'm use the peel as a weapon instead of throwing it? Well, I guess you could... Uh, if you know how to, like, mod... Yo, 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 you mod... Yo, yo. I got stuff to defend. If you... I'm gonna break in. And I immediately stopped the besieging it. Uh, if you know how to mod at least the basics of it, you could actually, you know, remove the sword from the legionaries and just give them a pilum. They would use it, you know, they would just use the pilum if you tell them to stop shooting. 
or to not shoot, you know, fire at free, uh, fire, f f fire at will, stop them from firing at will. I guess it could work that way. The only problem is, like, the spear infantry usually suck against everything else. Okay, the idea is to hold hold this at all costs. Yeah. Really, game? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Get declared war on by everyone in in like ten minutes in game. Oh god. At least I can save this. Okay, let's take the money this time. So the Gladius does have a stabbing mode. Uh, can you use it? I guess you can't use it if it's Sparta, right? The stabbing mode that is. But I did notice that, like, at the at the very beginning when I played this, one of the sieges, I could, need, I could, I could only stab upwards and downwards. If that's what you mean. But I think they should be able to, like, only stab upwards and downwards with the pilum if they actually used it as a melee weapon but they, they would only use it like uh, they would only use it if you if they if it was the only left and they had left like if they have a gladius too they're not gonna use the pilum for melee and you can uh, switch that around you can you just need to learn the basics on how to mod and just you know remove it remove it remove the weapon from the inventory basically so that then they don't get it if that makes sense it's probably pretty easy if it's anything like warband you just need to get in and then just remove a couple of lines of code more or less I could actually look into it if you want well I could look into it for you Sammy it's probably not a that big of a deal. Especially if someone made a modding tool like uh, there is one for Warband. Oh god, I'm starting to auto calculate all the battles. <laughs> That's not good. Yo, hello. How about you? 
How about you attack them? What the f- Fuck you, AI. Fuck you. Look at this, look at this. Tag team of enemy ass- mercenary assholes. Make peace with them. Yes, definitely. God, I don't know which one of these wars is worth. Well, these guys suck ass against the Roman troops. That's definitely for sure, even at a higher difficulty like this one. So, maybe it's better if you fight them. Hey guy, the knowing. Okay, train. Let's see how much money I'm gonna make from the couple battles we won this so far. Yeah, look at that. 20k, easy peasy. Let's stop this guy from raiding that, because of course he's gonna do that. I'm almost at that 300 troops mark and that means a higher difficulty <laughs> yeah uh, the Bellord AI takes over the world right yeah right uh, well, well, that's the problem with uh, like a lot of games. You can't really make a good AI. That's gonna be you know better better than a player, I guess. Except in chess, I guess. You know, their the computer chess master is beating all the human chess masters in the world. Easy peasy. But like I, I don't know one game. Especially strategy game that has good AI in it. And by that I mean that they're good by default. That they don't you that you don't need to play on legendary like in Total War for it to like cheat its way to being difficult. I wonder what this guy is going for. I don't know, he's just following something. God damn, they're so they're so I'm I'm getting too slow. I have too many troops, man. Look at that, zero losses. Like, really, I don't know, like, any... Well, I never... Then again, I never played the Man of War games. Maybe the AI in that is decent. Never mind, that's, that's scripted as well. That can't be good then. Um... Like, I accept from fear. The Fiat trilogy, the all the other AIs in games fail in comparison. One loss.
They're besieging my castle city again. The bastards. Okay, there we go. Full party. And even though I'm gonna lose some of them. Hmm, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, the AI is kind of good in that game. I mean... I never really roamed around that much and started like fights with the cops and all that, so I can't really say if they flank or not. Or like try to flank. Why is everyone in the, in the Northern Imperium a woman? Like all the leaders. I mean, I have nothing against it. Always better to see to see a female face on a man's. It still seems kind of odd. See if we got a few level ups. Infantry information gain uh, an additional 10% of the total XP after battle. Increase garrison limit in the government settlement by 30%. Increase infantry, infantry troop gain 2% XP daily. Garrison wages in the government settlement decreased. Um, uh, why not the first one? I'm leveled up too, I think. No. Okay, now we need to break into the castle and lose a couple of troops too along the way. Only 28. Uh, and they immediately stopped the siege. That's nice. <laughs> they would have gone before they started their conquest. Oh, right, the, the Carthaginians would wipe the floor with them. They will. They would have salted Rome and Sicilia. Well, well, not Sicilia. Sicilia was there, theirs at that point, somewhat. Easy money. The problem now is, is there anyone close enough I can call in? Yeah, not my first choice, but... In two hours... I need to gather up an army so I can stop them from actually, you know... Look at that, they're besieging it immediately. Look, 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 look. look. Oh, you're the one I need to talk to. Come back here, you bastard. Okay, let's piecemeal him. And by that I mean not fight them both. Said more infantry, right? Let's catch this one. Uh, 
Oh well, shit. They want the AI to do that. Don't attack them. Fucking moron. Okay, now attack him. Right. Mm, I don't really want to fight this battle. <laughs> Since we're gonna get a better, better result by alt resolving it anyway. Take the money. Let's see how much we're gonna make from that. Uh, is it the Battle of Cannae? Right? No. I can't remember which one was that, but like where the where the odds were like uh, something like eighty thousand Romans versus twenty thousand uh, well Carthaginians and mercenaries, if that's what you mean. Where the Romans rushed in, and uh, they just enveloped them and killed them off. Well, 8 1 KD ratio wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really like that. The documentary might have pushed the numbers a little bit. It's definitely not one side like that. Oh shit, no, no, no. Large pick a peel. He, didn't he lose badly once he got into northern Italy? Yeah, well, he won one battle. You know, with the first battle when he dropped from the Alps with the, with the, the elephants. But I think he was forced to, like, run away. or what, what, I can't really remember now. It was a long time ago. So... I, read up on Roman history or watched anything on it but this Scipio was threatening Carthage so I think